Hi and welcome to Smokin 5000's video on Foundation Fun using Satisfactory Calculator, a website full of useful tools specifically for Satisfactory. This video shows you how to use the interactive map to lay foundations in rectangle, circle and road formations along with some examples of how you can be creative with them. The Satisfactory Calculator achieves this by allowing you to upload your save file to the website and modify it accordingly. Our first step is to provide a foundation that will be used to create a basic rectangle platform. Here you can see I've placed one magically hovering in the air next to the annoying lizard doggo. After that, a run away to a safe location from where the platform will be created. Now save your game and exit to the main menu. Switch back to the satisfactory calculator and drag your save game file to the upload section in the top left corner. Once your game has been loaded, you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out and left click drag to navigate around. When hovering over a foundation, you can right click on it and a menu will appear. Select spawn a geometric form around foundation and another pop up appears. This example is going to make a plain rectangle. Click OK and then provide width and length coordinates. Click OK and Wemo, we have a rectangle. Click the download save game icon in the top left corner and then click the save changes button. After it has downloaded, you will need to move the file to your save game folder. Then switch back to satisfactory and select load, click the new save file and click the load button in the lower right. Here is the platform we created. Obviously I could have done this quicker without using the cat ladder but I wanted to show you how it all works before we get into more complicated examples. From this point on, I won't show the save, download and upload steps. Using the same foundation this time, we will select plain circle. You will need to provide an outer radius value. This is how many foundations out from this foundation the circle will be created with. As you can see from the circle itself, it is very majestic indeed. However, a floor foundation isn't very good without a roof, is it? Using the center foundation, put a few more 4 meter foundations and then eventually a 1 meter foundation. Delete the 4 meter foundation, put another 1 meter foundation underneath the existing one and delete the top one. The reason why the top 1 meter foundation is at this specific height is so it finishes flush with the walls you put up later. Back in the calculator website, on the right hand side is an altitude bar. There are two sliders at the top and bottom, and when you move them they will hide any objects outside of the two. Remember how I had the 1 meter foundation floating? This will allow you to easily zero in on the exact foundation height. When you hover over the foundation, it actually tells you that this is a 1 meter foundation. So this time when you create a circle, it will be created using one meter foundations. Walls need to be added manually as the website does not yet have a bulk add mode yet. Here's another example of creating a circle. I've placed a foundation underneath the water. This is a nice effect in the game in larger water areas. After adding the circle, I use the mass delete function to remove the excess foundations as they are underground and are pointless. Now, when you load the map, doesn't it look pretty? Now for a more complicated example with circles. I've been creating a tower that has four silos that are spiraling up. Each tower is 40 meters in height. From a center column, I bring out some foundations at the height I require, and then I remove a few around it, leaving it a floating foundation. This helps me find this foundation at a specific altitude. This time, I am creating a hollow circle. This requires two values, so I set both of them to 12. The outer circle is the one I am after, so after loading the map, 
I delete the ones I don't require. Then I target the specific locations that I want to create the circles at, just like I demonstrated previously. As you can see, I have four. Now I create the bottom and top circles. You can see they are all aligned nicely because I have been using the hollow circle for my alignment each time I've done a layer. Adding walls is pretty simple. Just run around the circle and you can power place them. Using the jetpack, jump up placing walls underneath. Then you can walk to the edge and quickly place the next set of walls and so on. Once you've done a lap you'll need to add the top and bottom walls and it's as simple as that. Roads are a new feature added and they will allow you to create a straight line of foundations up to 65 in length. Combined with hollow circles you can create some really nice effects. In this example you can see below a limestone node that I want to run a road from to my factory. I'm going to add a curve to the road so I place my starting foundation or foundations from the main road I want to join up with. I also have some other foundations placed on that road I will use. You can see that when you hover over a foundation, there is an arrow that indicates the direction the foundation is facing. This is the direction that the road will be created in. If it's not pointing in the correct way, use the rotate option until it is. This time when you select spawn a geometric form around foundation, you will select the road option. The road requires two values, a width and a length. Here you can see a nice long road has been added. You can see that I needed to rotate the end foundation so I could add a road towards the limestone node. I have also removed some foundations because I am adding a curve. From my floating platform I add a hollow circle with the values of 4 and then I remove the excess foundations. It's as simple as that. Now I have a nice looking road with curves. Now I know the question you have been asking throughout this whole video is, where do the materials come from that are used to create the foundations in Satisfactory Calculator? Currently, they appear out of thin air and are free. Satisfactory Calculator does not take them from your in-game storages but I've been told that they will in the future. So while this might technically be called cheating, News has hit the British shores that have been elevated levels of cheating reported in Australia. The offender, who is yet to be named, will be brought to justice very soon. This is Brain reporting live and this has been sponsored by Area Actions Mod. Just winning.
game. So while yes we are cheating the game a little, those who use mods like area actions are also cheating if they don't use the option to consume the in-game materials as they build. That's it from me. Thank you very much for watching my video on Satisfactory Calculator. A big hello to Anthor, who is the creator of this wonderful tool. Without it, I would be spending lots of time laying foundations. Till next time, have a great morning, afternoon, evening or night, wherever you are.